Hey everyone, so I got requested to do a video on how I organize my agenda and I've had uh, quite a few different agendas um, because A, I'm like an agenda junkie and B, because um, <clears throat> I like have tried out several different sizes and stuff to uh, until I found the right one. So let's go ahead and get on to it. Um, so my first agenda that I used was my Louis Vuitton agenda, PM size, and um, it didn't have enough writing room for me. I did a comparison video on my second channel um, between some replica agenda, LV agendas, and different sizing. Um, <clears throat> so I had two Louis Vuitton agenda PM sizes and they were just too small. Um, they were great for when I was just a student and like just had to take um, like homework assignments and stuff, but it just didn't work out. So then I upgraded to this. This is the Louis Vuitton Agenda MM size, but this is a replica, and it was a pretty bad replica. It's pretty small, and um, but I loved this, and I used it um, until it basically fell apart. And then I got this Agenda, and um, I liked this one because if I like stopped using it for a while I could just pick back up because it doesn't have any like pre um, dated papers or anything everything is kind of on your own and I just um, kind of organized it like that and then it has like contacts and notepad paper and stuff like that in it so I really liked that because it was a similar size to the MM uh, of Louis Vuitton and I really like that size that ended up being the perfect size for me so I used this for a while and then um, I started doing like work and uh, school and then I had, because uh, a lot of you guys know that I got really sick recently so I'm still kind of recovering from pneumonia and then I had surgery and all that so I'm still kind of recovering so if I haven't done a lot of videos that's why. Um, but um, because I had a lot more stuff I needed to write down. I got this really big one from Staples and um, this I got off eBay. It was really like ten dollars or something really affordable. And when I got this at Staples this was like 20 bucks I think uh, which was a little pricey for a planner um, but I really liked the like holographic looking peacock feathers um, where it's like subtle enough where it's blends really well but still stands out and I thought it was really pretty and so it has the month on two pages view and then um, the week on two pages and I really liked this but then what happened was that I wouldn't carry it unless I was going to school um, because although I liked having all the room and stuff I only used it if it was at home on my desk or like if I put it in my backpack with my notebook to carry to school and I found that I just wasn't um, remembering to bring it because it was so big so then what happened after that was that my friend gave me um, an authentic Louis Vuitton agenda in the MM size because uh, like I said I had the replica and I loved it I used it till it is pretty much worn out and so she got me the authentic and if you want to see um, like more detailed comparisons uh, you can go to my second channel like I said I do have a video comparing the authentic with the replica and etc but this video is on how I organize my agenda so I wanted to get into how I organize this and since this is quite a bit bigger as you can see than the replica one that I got um, it ended up being perfect because now I can carry a bunch more stuff in here and um, <clears throat> it, it just ended up fitting my lifestyle perfectly and yes I know you can like write stuff down on your phone and stuff like that but if your phone updates or you drop it or you lose it or something then you lose everything and um, another section of my agenda I have to actually write things down anyway so I just remember things better when I write them down so you'll see that uh, when I go through this but I'm gonna go ahead and lower the camera so that you guys can see here okay so this is my LV agenda in the MM size um, my friend got it from me it is authentic so when you just open it 
up like this. This is the front and I did have it heat stamped um, with my future initials because I am getting married so I figured okay I'll just go ahead and have that um, done because I don't want to you know have to like look back at it after my wedding and be like oh why didn't I get my future initial on it so I went ahead and got it heat stamped with my three initials there and it has six card slots um, and in this one I just have like a little sticker. I thought it was really cute but the sticker part rubbed off so I haven't really figured out what I want to do with it yet. I'll just put it right there for now and then I have this is uh, like the little bookmark that comes with the LV agenda pages. Um, my friend was also nice enough to give me the full entire LV book. Uh, not just the calendar refills but like the whole entire thing. Um, so she was nice enough to give me that. Um, and I do use the pages but as you can see I have different tabs. I made my own um, just because I want to keep those tabs really nice and um, I don't know, for paper I feel like it's super expensive so I wanted the front page but I took all the other tabs out because uh, I already bent one and I kind of I don't know, I want to keep them nice, so I stuck them in uh, a separate place to keep them nice. But this is the bookmark that comes with it, and for 2014, it's like a little trunk. Um, so I just keep this in here, because I want to keep that really nice too. And then, you guys are probably wondering what this is. This I got from a scrapbooking... I got it from like Michael's, but it's in the scrapbook section and it just says like diploma on it and it's just a little cardboard thing and it fits perfectly in here and the reason I have it in here is because this semester I have to do a bunch of um, stuff for graduation. I am graduating this semester um, so I have it in here kind of to remind me because I have like a little checklist of uh, every week I have to do something uh, for my graduation, like a grad check and make sure I have enough tickets and all that stuff. So that just stays in there. And then <clears throat> this is my front page. And I, like I said, I kept the uh, Louis Vuitton front page in here. And um, I have six tabs. None of them are labeled, as you guys can see, um, because I've decorated them with washi tape. And I just kind of felt like, since they're all different, I would know which ones they were. And I don't normally label my tabs anyway, because if I ever want to change the layout of my planner, I don't want to have to remake tabs. So I just keep them blank, and I can change them out as I go. And then, so this front page, I have decorated most of my stuff with washi tape, uh, which is just paper tape. I absolutely love it. You can find it at any scrapbooking store. Um, but that is my personal information, so I'll just skip over that. And then this is my first tab. And I got all this washi tape from uh, either Joann's or Michael's. Um, so all the washi tape that you'll see in here is from either Joann's or Michael's. So this is my first tab and this is the monthly view and I, when you first flip to it I just have a picture of me and Ryan and then it goes into the months. The months are on two pages and I do have them all decorated on the month to two pages. I normally just keep birthdays on here um, or like when my bills are due. Um, and stuff like that. I don't usually do anything like um, like doctor's appointments or anything like that because I mainly use the week views but I do like to have the birthdays on here so that when I can flip to it I can see you know okay um, or holidays and stuff like that I have that on here too so I'm like okay if I if it's November I can flip to December and say oh look it's you know Mr. George's birthday um, and so I can prepare and get him a, a gift and mail it out and stuff like that. Um, and then it has the year, the whole year, and um, I haven't had any time to decorate that or anything and I just, like I said, keep birthdays on here, anniversaries, and important dates that normally don't change uh, from year to year. And then this is my second tab. I haven't figured anything out that I want to put on here yet, like a quote or something. Um, <clears throat> And this is my weekly tabs, and I have another thing here just to keep it nice, but I did leave uh, this page in, and this is the Louis Vuitton 2014 diary calendar, and they have these little corners here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see them, but um, for all the ones that you use, you rip this corner off, and it's already, like, 
perforated so that you can just rip it off. Um, so it's easy to find your page. So let's see if I can just show you guys. Um, these are just randomly set within the calendar so you'll have pretty pages. Um, i trying to find a page that I did not decorate yet. So here we go. Um, this is what the pages normally look like. Um, it's one week on two pages and then it has a little note section. So that is that and then I just decorated mine uh, again with washi tape and I color coat things and I've highlighted things so like purple is um, like appointments and um, important dates and then like yellow, orange and green are my um, like classes and, and um, whatnot and then I have my work in red as any any kind of bill that I uh, that it's going to be coming up and, and being due. So these are just some of the decorations of how I've designed my washi tape. Um, pink is like birthdays and, and whatnot, but um, I'll just kind of flip through here so that you guys can see some of the decorations that I, I did. Um, I, let's see, there's another page just to show you guys. Um, they're all, you know, pretty basic. I have graduation, um, so those are my graduating penguins. Um, and then I don't think I decorated any other holidays just yet, except for 4th of July. Um, I put red, white, and blue, and a bunch of stickers and stuff. Um, I'll probably, yeah, I, I don't know if I will keep these big stripes, but um, I had this red, white, and blue up here and it didn't fit on the 4th of July block. Um, so I ended up taking them off, but I had to reinforce the page with these sticker, uh, with these washi tape. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not yet, but um, it's there for now. And then, let's see, that, there's another one of the pages if you guys wanted to see what the 2014 looks like, and I haven't decorated anything else. So going on to my third tab, uh, I just decorated it with washi tape and I put cameras on here because um, I was recently diagnosed with Crohn's disease um, so I have to write down for the next six weeks everything that I eat, um, how long I'm sleeping, you know, when I'm working out, when I'm watching TV and etc. My doctor has a pretty um, strict thing, like strict schedule that he wants me to to write out so that's why I have this tab and that's why this agenda is so perfect because I can just pop it in my purse and take it with me so what I did was I called it the body boot camp and I just set it up so that I can write the date my meals and snacks how much I've exercised the time my weight uh, the media how much I sleep um, how long I was watching the media and what device I was on and etc um, and I just kind of keep doing that and um, like this day I didn't work out because I, I was still coughing a lot with my pneumonia and having a hard time breathing so obviously you know you can't work out if you have pneumonia but um, <clears throat> so that's that and then my fourth um, tab I just have some little teapots and stuff on like that and I keep all my stickers and right now I just have the Louis Vuitton stickers that come with the agenda and then my fifth tab, I, it just says pears, and uh, I just thought it was really pretty. And I have my address book. Um, this came with the Louis Vuitton agenda, and I figured, you know what, my, I'm always forgetting to charge my phone, and my phone is always dying, and I never remember anyone's phone numbers, so I just keep one page, so like, all this is A's, this would all be B's, this would all be C's, and etc. And I don't want to um, go into too many people's personal details, but I just... Um, you know, write down their cell phone number so that in an emergency, if I need to call them, I can. And it doesn't take up that much space, so I don't mind having it there. And then my last tab is the tab that I cover up for my card slots. And so, like, here, uh, Louis Vuitton has three of these, like, card holders. Um, and I found these really awesome, like, really helpful. So the first one, I just keep, like, my receipts um, and then a card up here. My second one, I just kept all the... Um, sales associates that I've had from Louis Vuitton that have helped me in the past, insurance card, um, 
my hairstylist so that I can call in and make an appointment and then I just have a gift card from Ross and then um, and this one I got from Filofax so if you are wondering where I got all of these tabs from I got them from Filofax and it's the personal size um, anything that you want to fit in the Louis Vuitton MM agenda um, you can buy from Filofax front and it's just make sure it's the personal size if you're looking for the PM agenda size it's the pocket size but Filofax has all these different accessories and paper and stuff like that um, for the LV agendas which is really nice I haven't been able to find these recently because I wanted to order some more um, and I haven't been able to find them on Filofax but <clears throat> I've had them in the past from Filofax so I don't know if they're just out of stock right now but um, that's where I got this so and it just has one card number here and um, I tried to hide it cause it's, uh, like a personal card and then it has like one big packet up here and I just washi taped it so that I could find the um, entrance early and I just keep receipts and coupons and stuff like that in here and then on the back it has one big pocket and I um, just wanted to cover it a little bit um, so that I could see that I had what was in here but it, it wasn't like glaringly clear so I just keep um, a couple of extra checks um, because we do have to pay like some bills with checks and whatnot and if I'm out running around and I forgot to write a check or something I can just pull one out and then I just keep like a couple dollars extra cash like if I need a vending machine or something and I don't have any cash in my wallet I'll have a little bit here and then I have this one big pocket and this also um, is this goes all the way down this one also goes all the way down so this one I, I have my graduation papers and stuff like that in here and um, I'm gonna be getting more to like this is the first task that I completed and so essentially I'll just keep all of my graduation papers in here so because I have to have them um, throughout the semester and then I just have this zipper pocket um, that I also got from Filofax and it just zips open and I, this is where I keep my tabs um, so like if I have a page in my weekly agenda or something that I need to keep going back to or refer to or, or something that I need to remember whatnot I can just put it on these tabs and they just come off uh, pretty easily so I have that in there and then in the very back I have this flap and I know this video is getting kind of long so I'm trying to hurry it up but I have this flap and I just keep um, I thought this was really cute it's from the smash book um, you can find it from Target uh, Staples um, actually I don't know if Staples has it Michaels has it um, but anyway it just says stuffed uh, uh, stuff I'm hooked on and I thought it was really sweet so I just keep um, extra stickers um, and stuff like that in here that did not have the hole puncher that I was unable to hole punch I just put them in here and then this one also came with it it came in a pack and so on this first one I have um, a coupon that I need to use um, and then some extra tab stickers and these I got from Staples and they you can like write uh, something here and it covers it up or you can like write a name here or something and then and a personal information so I use these for like appointments I'll write the doctor appointment on here and then if I need the address I'll flip it over and write the address so I really like that um, so I just keep those in here and then let's see here. Okay. Last but not least, I have my pen holder. And the thing that I love about the MM size in the agenda is that you can fit a normal size pen in here. Um, this is a rather skinny pen because I was used to carrying my PM size, which you need a fairly small pen to fit in because as you guys probably know, or anyone that's seen the PM size, it does not fit a regular pen. Um, it's very difficult to find one that fits. And my um, replica MM also did not like fitting bigger, thicker pens, so I just got used to carrying a small pen around, and I thought it was kind of nice, and it matched with the gold, so I just put it in here, but it does fit a regular size pen, um, so it's really awesome, and I'm really excited about that. Um, and so as you can see, I stuffed my agenda quite a bit, but it's not overstuffed. I can still snap it with no problem, um, and it's actually not that heavy. Um, 
for an agenda and one for how much I have in here. It's lighter than I thought it would be, so I really like that, but that's how I stay organized. I do have a color system and everything like that. Um, and the only thing that I think I'm going to add to this that is not in my video now because I don't have it um, is an adhesive pen holder. And um, what it is is essentially an elastic pen loop that is sticky like a sticker or and it has, I'll probably washi tape it because I don't know, I like washi tape as you guys can tell, but you can place it on paper on any section and I like to have um, black ink <coughs> for my calendar, Ooh, excuse me, and blue ink for my body boot camp. And uh, it's just so that I can kind of distinguish the difference between the two. I don't know if I'll stick to that all the time, but um, I really am trying to keep color coding and everything like that. So um, that is what I am doing, and that is. Um, you know, but currently I don't have a, a spot for my blue pen, so I'll probably, um, that's coming in the mail in like a week, so I'll put it on Instagram if you guys want to see a picture of it. Um, but I don't know where I'll put it yet. I'll probably put like a blank piece of paper or get a, a fly leaf or something and attach it to that so it just hangs over. But that is my agenda. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, feel free to private message me or leave a comment um, if you guys want to see more like in depth of my color coding and and all of that I can definitely um, do a more in depth video for you but I noticed that the video is getting kind of long so I was trying to rush through it because I do have quite a bit of stuff in here but I use my agenda every day I really love it if you guys are looking into into investing in a nice agenda um, I absolutely love this agenda. If you do not want to pay as much for the LV agenda, but you still want something similar to this, File Effects has the personal agendas, and they're this size. They have some really, really great um, agendas that um, <coughs> are also really nice refillable agendas. So that's really nice. Target has some really nice ones for pretty affordable. Um, so that's pretty awesome. And um, yeah, but if you guys, you know, <coughs> want to take the plunge and invest in an LV agenda, um, you know, I would definitely recommend the MM size um, if you like to write a lot and have big handwriting like me. So, yeah, that's my video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!